Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morland DC. Now as I'm sure my avid, avid super fans have noticed I've been away for the last few weeks. Um, there was an on-site that I needed to attend. It was also my daughter's birthday and you know getting set up for Christmas is for people to see and lots of Christmas do's to start to happen. Um, so it, it's just been a very busy couple of weeks so I apologize about not being able to get some content out to you um, and thought I really need to, so here I am. Not that I felt that I had to, but because I love you guys, you know? That's why I'm here. You should see my face right now. There's a, look, there's a, there's a tear. It's a, it's not really a tear. Okay. Um, and what I thought was, in the spirit of Thanksgiving weekend in the US, obviously we don't celebrate that here in the UK, but in the spirit of Thanksgiving, of the Thanksgiving weekend, I thought I would do a review on this amazing product that was sent to me by Armour Supplies from the United States of America. I need like a, like an American style fanfare in the background. Maybe I'll see if I can get some American music for the end of the video. So, I got in contact with Armour Supplies a few months back and asked to see if they'd like to collaborate on a video. Now being a YouTuber, <laughs> A lot of your time is spent emailing companies and building relationships with companies on social media, especially Instagram. You know, I'm big on Instagram. Check me out at uh, Morlander underscore EDC on Instagram. That's generally where I am. Um, so yeah, so you, you spend a lot of time emailing people, and you know, to be f to be fair, a, a channel like mine, which is growing, definitely growing, um, but not one of the largest that, that that's out there, you get a lot of people that are very polite and they say, you know, on this this chance, thank you, f but you know, just at this moment, we need to, we've spent our budget on collaborations. Um, so I wasn't expecting anything anything back from Armour Supply, but do you know what? They were super nice people. So so nice people, su such nice people, um, and they came back to me and they were like, you know, we can, um, we can send something to you. They they explained, they even sent me some bits to, to help me to to fill in the gaps if there was bits that I was I was unsure of. Couldn't have been any nicer people. So first disclaimer is, well, I think it's the only disclaimer real here, is that this was sent to me by Armour Supplies. I haven't purchased for this. I haven't purchased this, sorry. Um, but the fact that it was given to me uh, to to review, to test out, and to keep afterwards has no reflection on the outcome of this review. If I hated it, I would tell you. If I loved it, I'm going to sing about it. Um, so that's that. That's the that's the that's the important thing to get out of the way first, and let's get straight into it. Now this is more than just a wallet. You'll probably see that when you go to the website, you'll see that there are a collection of wallets. There's different colours. There's different uh, materials that they're made from. But it kind of surprised me the the value of money that you get from this, and. It kind of humbles me that I'm a bit of an idiot because I looked on the website and you can see on the website clearly that it says, you know, this is what you get in the box. But I just assumed that that was the all singing, all dancing for $200, you get this, boom, 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 and fireworks and stuff. Um, it's not $200, I mean, that, that's what I th assumed that this big thing was. And it came to me and, do you know what, you want to see what's in the box, and this is what surprised me. Okay, so lovely box gift box oh. and you open it up and you notice that there's more in there and it's exactly what you see when you look at the website at the what's in the box section so you start off with the wallet so it is a a, a slimline wallet or a card holder you can uh, put some money on it, which, which I'll, I'll show you as part of this. Um, but this is, this is essentially what I thought or assumed that I was getting, which when I look at value for money and you see all of this, it, honestly, it's absolutely amazing. If you're thinking of getting into EDC, I'm, do you know what? I'm gonna go off on so many tangents on, on this video because there's just so many different things that I got to and I thought, Wow, that's impressive. If you're thinking of getting into EDC and 
you don't know where to start, you think, okay, right, okay, so, you know, a lot of people 3DC, if you look in, in one of my previous videos, which I'll link up there, or I'll put on a card at the end, a lot of things would be something like, your, you know, your Swiss Army knife. That's the staple. But then it's taking the things that you've got to the next level. So, you know, on a recent video, I've done something about key management. Um, then there's people that, you know, really strive to have that minimal carry. But in this box, you can almost start off if I had just this and the contents of the box. That is a decent EDC carry to start off with. And I'm still, I'm going off on these tangents, so I'll, I'll, I'll carry on. So, you get the wallet. The wallet is made from air grade, um, premium air grade aviation aluminium. We say aluminium here in the UK. Um, it was actually the Americans that say it correctly. So, hey, yeah, go America. So, shall I, shall I see if I can remember? Okay, so it, it's made with premium air grade aluminum. I hope that helps. The accent's probably not right. Um, and you can see it comes in four parts. So you have these two bits in here which um, hold the thing together uh, and there's an elastic bit. And then you have two outer parts that are screwed into it. And then you have the armor supply logo in the top right, top left hand corner. Now, any, some of you may have noticed that there are some screws missing from the back. Now when you get this, it is actually fully assembled, so here are the screws that, that go into there. But what I thought I'd do is, is I'd show you how you can take this apart. When it arrives, it is completely all fully assembled, all of the screws are in there, they even have a little bit of Loctite in to make sure that it's held properly. And then at the end here, if you can see, there's a slight recess, and that's where... Um, this pocket clip goes in, but you can also use the pocket clip to hold notes or money on the back as well But as I say what I thought I'd do is I'd take it apart so that you can see exactly the construction of it If you had any worries or you'd ever wondered how these things actually work um, I thought I'd do that. So what I'll do is I'll take it apart so that you can see on the inside The whole thing is kept together with a rubber band which is absolutely ridiculous, super strong um, elastic band, rubber band. It's, it, what is it? It is elastic, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, it's elastic, like a knicker, I want to say knicker elastic, but it's the same thing. So I'll show you how this goes together uh, and why you get an extra one. Um, the extra one there is so that if this one ever did break, then you'd get another one, um, but it also comes with a lifetime warranty. So I mean, I mean that's great in itself. So that's the wallet. And then I was like, wow, look at all this extra stuff that you get. So you've probably seen from my, a couple of my last videos. Apologies, I've just had a new setup. So if this is wobbling a little bit, I do apologize about that. Um, you also get in here a nice key organizer which I think I put it in the wrong way around actually because I do struggle to get these ones out. I think what I was supposed to do is I was supposed to put that that way and then that the other way. Um, so you get a nice key organizer. Um, as part of this key organizer, there are some extra. So at the moment I have on there, I have two keys on each side, and then there is a washer between each key and uh, the, the pins itself. If you need to have more keys, there's an extra spacer. So this just hand tightened this when I did it, just so that you could see. But that one screws as so. So if you needed to, if you do hold uh, extra keys, then you can put this spacer in there and then you can screw that on to there and you, you get how it works. So with the spacer, you get some, sorry, with the with this bit, I suppose, let's call this the, oh, it's a, it is a bit of a fiddle to be fair. So we'll call this the lengthener. And in fact, if you can see, there are some different lengths of the lengthener. So if you need to have a couple of extra keys in there, you can use a shorter one. If you have a couple of, if you have a lot of extra keys, then you can use a longer one. If you got even more, you can put the two together. If you want to, you can then divide them with these extra washers. 
So that's all part and parcel of this. There's also an extra rubber bits. So when these screw into there, there's a rubber that um, holds that in place. Let's move those over as well, turning this into a bit of a mess. Uh, this is a bottle opener. So you can put that into here through this circle so that if you do have a car key, now a big plastic car key is probably not going to fit into there, so you can put an extra ring onto that. So if needs be, you can turn that out, you've got a bottle opener, um, or you could just have it so that it's, it's hanging off there. Super useful. As I say, so what you're getting here is almost your, your, your full kit for your EDC. You've got your wallet, you've got your um, key management, and then let's have a check what else is in here. You get some extra um, small screws. Now, the screws that I've took out of this wallet, I've just moved to one side here, as I say. Um, but the screws are very small. Perfectly precisioned, engineered screws that fit perfectly into that. Um, I've not looked, but I guess because of this, that's why you get these extra, extra screws rather than having to go and source some screws or take them to somewhere and try and work out. If you can see as well, hopefully you can see, but they've also got some blue Loctite on there as well. So each of these screws has been individually dipped to make sure that they, uh, they all fit. Actually, let's move these out here. Then, oh, there's some extra washers that, you know, I've done. You also get an extra um, elastic band, just in case that one goes. I have no doubt that it that it will. Oh, did I say that right way around? It'll last forever, that's what I meant to say. Then you also get um, a Torx bit for the screws to make sure that if you do want to take it apart, you can do. After that, I had to put this back in, in here the other day just so that you can see what it looks like when it turns up. You get a little, there you go, a little EDC system like that. And then you get some extra bits in here. So, you know, welcome to the family, um, how to use your wallet, and some nice. And I've been dying to stick these to things, um, but I didn't because I wanted to show you the unboxing process so that, you know, you could see what was in the box because I'm an idiot and thought that what you got in the box was just this, even though I looked at the website. Yeah, you know, you do these things every now and again. You can be a bit thick. That's me talking to me, by the way. So you get a lot. You really do get a lot. And getting back to my original point, one, value for money when you think that this whole setup here, so this was my, um, this is the tan version, there's also a, a grey, a black, um, there's a red, a blue, I think there's a Patriot edition which has, um, which has a Star Spangled Banner on it and so on and so on and so on. There are other different versions as well, there is a carbon fibre version, so on and so on and so on, so on. All of this comes to $59, $49, sorry, which I think is a pretty good, pretty good deal. I'd have paid that just for this, but the fact that you're throwing in the key a, a key organizer, this is actually quite useful. I didn't have this in there for the first few days, um, just because it's just it's just extra width. Um, but then after a while, I thought, no, nope, you know what? I'll put it in, and it did. It's, you know, it's useful. You can tighten bits with it. You've got your inch system at the top. If you go onto the back, you've got the metric system. Yay! Um, protractor, different uh, Torx head, and Torx head, bolt heads. So there's, there's even a little sharp bit there as well, which is quite, quite useful. So, getting back to it, I think this is particularly very good value for money because if, as I say, you are thinking of getting into EDC, now if you're thinking of getting into EDC, you're probably already in it, but to be able to purchase something that gives you quite a lot of what you need to be able to expand that all in one lovely gift box, it's amazing, it really is good. So that's enough talking about all of this. Hopefully by now you've got the impression that I am just overwhelmed with this. And I genuinely am, I really am. So huge thank you in the spirit of Thanksgiving. A huge thank you to um, Armour Supply for sending me this. Um, 
and you know let's let's get into the other bits so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on first because you're probably going to want to see that you know these cards blockbuster um, these cards fit into there but to make sure that I'm showing you exactly how it works perfectly I want to make sure that it's it's all put back together exactly how you'd get it and that way you can see how you take it apart if you needed to so here's my uh, tool check plus that little thing and I might fast forward um, the video for this, so I'm going to take out one, two, three, four screws. To completely disassemble it, you'd need to take out these seven screws and the seven screws on this side. But what you find on each side is identical, which will make sense when I, when I take it apart. So, hit fast forward, here we go. There we go. So components wise, it's made from four separate pieces. What you have are the two fascia bits. Um, one has the arm supply logo on it and one um, is, is just blank. And then underneath here, you then have these two plastic parts, which are what these screws um, screw into. Oh, no, 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 yeah, sorry. So it's, it's all aluminium, isn't it? Sorry, plastic parts. Silly me. Um, and these bits screw directly into this. So the elastic band, if you did want to take the elastic band and replace it with this one, if you imagine that goes round both of these, so it's recessed on both sides, so that when the elastic band's on there, um, you can then put these in. Or at least you can get them on flush, because it's, it's now flush because they're recessed in. What you also get is, you get this back bit so that when the cards are in, this stops the cards coming out. If you do need to replace this, it doesn't have that back bit. I don't think that's necessarily a bad or a good thing. It means that you can take cards out from both sides rather than having only to be able to do it from one side. Maybe even, I should have asked, and that's the purpose of this one bit here. It's also a replacement, but if you prefer to be able to take the cards out of both ends, you know these crafty Americans are very good at thinking of these kind of things. Very clever people. Um, it might actually be to replace both of those rather than just a replacement. But you get this extra one and that, that's, how you, that's how you replace it. So you, you, you take both sides off and then um, you slide that out from the center that slides in and then then you put them back on so um, this you can see hopefully there that there is a recess for that so again it all fits together and it's all flush that goes in there like that this comes on and then we'll fast forward time again so that I can put these screws back in and hopefully you'll be able to see yes it is a little bit fiddly okay hit fast forward Okay, there you go. So it's all back together. You can see nice and tight. The screws lock in perfectly. There's 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 no give to them whatsoever. I've made sure that they're hand tight because there is a little bit of blue Loctite on there, then you know you can rest assured that it's it's going to be difficult for it to come back out again. I carry three um, in what, uh, the wallet that I usually use, I carry three cards on one side of the wallet, three cards on the other. Okay, so that means nothing, by the way, just in case you want to try and steal my identification. It means nothing. Um, but with this, because it's not a bill fold as such where you have separate sides of the wallet, um, then these all go together. The first one to get in is a little bit tricky but hopefully if you can see so these are slightly tapered into the inside so first one you get in like that that's the hardest one each of the others after that if you can pick them up off my little wooden table they all go in and there you go 
So what you end up with is a super slim, super compact wallet that fits perfectly into your pocket. I'm a rear pocket kind of guy. Some people aren't, some people are. When you have this in your rear pocket, it is, I wouldn't say sharp, but you know it's in there. So on a daily basis, I have to sit down at work for eight hours a day. And you do notice that it's in your pocket. If you're a pocket kind of guy or gal, you know, um, then you don't notice as much there. So I don't know if this you'd call this a dedicated front pocket wallet or you'd call it an ambidextrous wallet. But just be aware that when it's in your rear pocket, you just notice it. It's like a small deck of cards that you've sat down on rather than a typical leather wallet that might contour to your ass. Um, so that's one of the things to, um, to, to be mindful of. Now measurements wise, it's 8.5 centimeters by just over five centimeters in inches. That's uh, three and uh, th three and three eighths by two and one sixteenth, I think. If you're unsure what those measurements are, I highly recommend you take a card from your pocket and hold it in your hand. There you go, that's exactly the same measurement. Um, width wise, it depends on how many what, how many cards you've got in there. So at the moment, I carry six cards. I like to keep it nice and minimal. So at the moment, it is half an inch thick, or in good old centimeters, it's about 11 millimeters, which is 1.1 centimeters. So it's nice and small. The pocket clip. As I say, you can decide to take that off. When I'm using the pocket clip, what I'll do is any bills that I've got, any uh, money, I'll fold it into three and then they fit perfectly underneath there so that I can keep my money um, in my pocket as I'm, as I'm going around as well. Obviously, it's a, it is a pocket clip, so if you wanted to, you could clip that onto your pocket um, or something else if you needed to. And there you go. Um, is there anything else that I need to tell you about this? And I guarantee that there is. So, we've gone through everything that was in the box. Um, it is uh, an RFID blocker. So when your cards are in here, and I've tested this, um, one of the cards that I use as a security card to get myself into my studio. So when I press this against the beeper in the morning, it doesn't allow me to get in. You have to take it out at least that far. Now that's how these cards work. So if you do need to take a card out, you push on this corner, your cards come out, and then you can fan through the cards as to which one you want to use. Um, if it is that you use that one and that one the most, I, you know, makes sense to keep those on the outside. You put them back together and it slides straight in. So, you know, traveling with this in my recent visit to Milan in Italy, it was a lovely place. Um, I had this in my back pocket the entire time. And we went for a walk around Milan. Um, and I was, I, sounds a bit daft, but I, I, I felt secure. So I wasn't checking to make sure that there weren't people walking close to me behind um, with something in the hand. Even if they were, it wouldn't matter because of the um, because this blocks RFID signals, which are the signals that your cards use when you use the tap to pay um, thing. So some of the extra things um, about this is also, and it's probably the last thing, and that's that the it's, it's an anodized aluminium. Now, I like anodized aluminium for the fact that after a time, you do get some weathering on it. If you can see, I've got a few little scuffs on here. Not so much on the back, because I've usually got a card, I've usually got money on the back. But the anodized, anodizing on the top of this, it does weather with time, and I love that. I like my gear to look like it's being used, and you'll definitely get that with that. Some extra points. Now these aren't things to, uh, you know, to talk about what you get in the box, but I do feel that these are definitely things um, that, you know, need to be discussed. And the first one is, 
that every time you purchase one of these, one dollar is donated to a wounded vet to wounded veterans. Um, that's a big thing, okay? This company has taken some respons social responsibility to make sure that the products that they make, some of the profits from those products go to veterans, US veterans, but you know, whether they're US veterans, whether they're British veterans, French, I was gonna say Anglo-Saxon then, but yeah, they're the wrong veterans. Somebody taking that social responsibility to be able to uh, give some of their profits to people is is absolutely amazing also if you are in the US military or you are a first responder then you get discount um, through their um, military and first responders scheme I think it's 15% discount if you go onto the website then you'll be able to see um, how that discount works there's also some discount here from Moreland 3DC. How cool is this? So if you use this, if you use this link here, then you'll be able to see exactly how much discount you get. Um, so a massive thank you uh, again. You know, in the in the spirit of Thanksgiving, a huge thank you to Armour Supplies, uh, Armour Supply for this. Now I always get to this point, and it's the: Is there anything that you change? This is awesome, but it's a bit fiddly. What I'd possibly change on this is maybe if these screws already had the shorter lengthener on here to be able to get it and maybe shorten this. Minor thing, just because you have to do some kind of gymnastics to be able to do that. That's all. Is there anything else? The only other thing, and I get why it's done, so this section here is is quite thick. So without any cards in there, you know, it's already six cards thick. And with your cards in there, that then makes it roughly 12 cards thick. Now, I know why that's there. That's there because you need to be able to screw those the, the bits into it. You also need to be able to leave a recess on the inside to then be able to have that elastic band to be able to go through so that it will pinch to hold the whole thing together. I totally get that. So I'm, I'm talking about being able to shave off half a millimeter. That's it. But I think on the grand scheme of things, I'm just going to slowly bring these in here as well just to show you all the stuff that you get. Um, in the grand scheme of things, when I'm talking about things that I'd change with this, I'm picking hairs. Picking stupid little hairs, which I probably wish that I hadn't said now, because all in all, this thing is awesome. I was going to swear then. In fact, I'm going to swear. This is an old English swear word. These are the bollocks. There you go. It said it. I've done it. If you get referred to as the bollocks, that is a good thing. Some people might think it's a swear word. Some people might think it's a bit of a, a you know, a bit of a baby swear word. But this is the bollocks. This is the dog's bollocks, in fact. I've gone the whole way, the dog's bollocks. Okay, um, I think I'm done because I probably waffled on a little bit too much there, but I think, getting back to my original point, you want to get into EDC. You want to know where to start. You've just bought your very first Swiss Army knife. Maybe you've got a pen lying around. You've got yourself a flashlight. Obviously you need some dice in there, because everyone needs some dice. And you start doing your top-down EDC pictures. That there is a pretty dog's bollocks EDC top-down pocket dump. In its entirety. It's good. This is good. Thank you. Thank the world. Thank YouTube. God bless America. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Extra points. I have bought myself, gone next level, bought myself a nice new camera, so future videos will be made with this. I have given, so thank you to me for purchasing that, and this table was a door, a little bit of history on this.
I'll leave it in the comments below. Also, don't forget in the comments below you've got, I'll leave all of the links to this, I'll leave the discount code, and yes, thank everybody who helped me with this video. Stay safe, stay Moorlander, stay DC.